this is uh, the tower once I first got it home on the trailer it's all nested together and I had to disassemble it from here and I started digging a hole for the uh, base of the tower a hole measured six feet by six feet by four feet deep it took me several days to dig it out by hand kind of red clay you can see we have some good soil on top and it's just hard red clay and in the bottom up there are quite a few rocks too that had to break out but that's just par for the course these are just more pictures of me showing how I dug the hole out that's a four foot pickaxe you can kind of see how deep it is there and it's a five foot shovel I was holding and I'm almost done with the hole there and uh I think I'm about to come up on some pictures of the tower when I was trying to assemble the base of it. These are the 30-inch uh, metal bolts that came with it, along with some plates on the bottom. You're supposed to uh, attach it to the hinge pieces, as you see, and these little metal plates on the end of square uh, plates were supposed to keep it from pulling out of the concrete. I really didn't like that design. The instructions said that this should be... Uh, assembled by somebody who's mechanically inclined and that was the extent of the instruction so I modified things a little bit and uh, I thought uh, if I could build a little triangle or two of uh, angle iron I could support the tower a little better and make sure that my uh, pieces of steel coming up to bolt the tower to were in perfect alignment so I'll show you a picture of those in just a few minutes. These are just pictures of the hinge mechanism itself. And we're still looking at hinge mechanism. It's just an overview of the base segment of the tower again. Here's the rest of the segments as I was pulling them apart. And here's a little template coming up that I made so I know exactly where my holes should be in the concrete. Another picture of the template from the other side. And I used that to make sure at the last minute that the uh, bolts were in the right place and they were. I think I got carried away taking pictures of the template. And here's the first piece of uh, triangular angle iron that I built to make sure that all the uh, bolts were in perfect uh, alignment would be held straight up and that's how the hinge mechanism works it unbolts and you see how it uh, the, will allow the tower to lie down as these metal rods are sticking straight up in the air and the u-bolts come off of it and then I decided to uh, one of my uh, just a little bit deeper so I added a little wooden framework above the top of it also kind of makes sure this square looks pretty and then I started building my uh, rebar reinforcement and there's the uh, triangular pieces that hold the iron bolts in perfect uh, position and it's hard to tell from that but I got it centered fairly well and this was assembled in my uh, driveway and then I had to drag it around to the uh, backyard drop it in the hole and there it is sitting in the hole I've got everything lined up with some crosshairs and you may notice that there's a little lightning rod right in the center of the uh, whole thing going down and there's some uh, number four copper wire coming off of that and it's uh, wound around the uh, rebar in case there's a lightning strike, this acts as a Eufer ground. This is where I have my truck around the back. I was welding some. And I had it covered up because it kept raining on us while we were doing this. And uh, that hole will hold a great deal of water. It takes a lot to get it out. I had several wheelbarrows set up. I didn't know how far we were going to have to park the concrete. I didn't know if the truck could get around there. And you notice I've got the bolts covered with some uh, duct tape at that point. Got a little ramp built so we can run the wheelbarrows up there. This thing is supposed to hold about 5.5 .5 to 5.9 yards of concrete. So I got a couple of friends to come over. And there's just some alignment. Once again, you can see all the copper wire in the uh, setup. And 
I promised my friends I would uh, take care of them, feed them if they'd come over. And sure enough, some showed up. I'm glad they did. But as you'll see in a little while, we really didn't need them because we were able to get the truck backed up right up to the hole. And with the little 16 foot chute he had, he was able to drop the concrete directly in the hole. Don't have any pictures of the concrete being poured in because I was kind of busy at that time shoveling to make sure it uh, actually went and filled the hole and didn't didn't have any air pockets or anything. So I think the next picture is the concrete truck coming up. There it is. And that's uh, the only picture we have of the truck coming up right before we started. And there's almost immediately after the pour, we're letting it dry. Everybody's starting to write their names on there, and all the kids came around and started writing. My wife. And and then I signed the bottom part of it. And that's the day we actually poured the concrete. It's 5-8 of 2010. And just got all my kids. And I have no idea what this is. My uh, four-year-old wrote that. It will be there forever. Anyway, this is my uh, concrete pad for my tower base. And that's the tower project up to date. And I appreciate you watching. If you have any questions, give me a call. This is James North Mississippi out. Well, I seem to have a few more pictures. I think we're going to see a picture or two of uh, the tower as I started putting the base of it up. Sure enough, uh, it all lined up. I was able to hook the base piece up. I wanted to let the tower cure for about uh, 28 days before putting real weight on it. I think this is about a week into it before I said anything on there. And it everything lined up perfectly. You can see the levels on there. I don't know if I got any good pictures of it, but uh, I had to do very little adjustment uh, on the bolts to get it to line up perfectly. I was very happy with the whole setup at this point. I think there's, see where I had to chip out just a little bit of concrete. And there's like an eighth of an inch I had to chip out to get it down. That's all. And this is, I'm actually assembling the tower here, laying out the pieces. And just a little warning about the tower itself. And let's get more pictures of me laying it out. And I don't think I've got a picture of it uh, completely assembled and connected, but that's in the uh, video I showed you. So here we are coming up to the end, and it's getting dark out. I'm going to put the final few seconds on, but that's it. Laying out, lined up, ready to go.